Hi, little update this evening um, on some boots you've probably seen before if you follow my channel. They're the Doc Martens for life and these are the Black Smooth um, 146 um, 8 hole 6 inch boot. Let's move that to one side. Now if you followed my channel you'll have seen these boots as I say before. You'll have seen my previous boots in the, uh, the tan and over the years you'll have seen several reviews and updates on those but I thought it would be worthwhile doing a little update on these as they reach a six month mark um, because there have been some questions about um, care and whether the black would work as well as the brown um, or the tan rather so as I say these are a pair of boots which I've had for six months I've been using the uh, Doc Martens for life deal since, well I think it was probably 2012, it was actually why I joined YouTube to sort of document the product and see how it worked. Um, the deal is you buy your boots and they'll replace, repair, mend, whatever it might be um, for life and that's all in the deal and I thought that was really interesting. So the deal is that you buy your boots, um, they're, they're not cheap. Um, they're currently up to um, £165, um, slightly more than I started. I think they were probably £130, £135 when I first bought them. Um, but that, as I say, that's over four years ago now. And when it comes to replacement time, you post them back with a cheque for £20 and they'll basically send you a new pair of boots. I've never known um, the boots to be repaired. And I've probably had four or five pairs so far. These being the first in black. Um, the reason I've ended up with these in black is because they've actually changed the deal a little bit and I posted a video about that at the beginning of the year um, because it was a bit of a shame. They, they reduced the range of boots available. They've deleted the tan and brown um, and all you can get now is a black, the smooth black like this which doesn't have a sort of imprinted texture and this smooth oxbloods red. So they have changed the deal. Um, you can still get the uh, tan and brown boots um, but the size range is limited and when they're gone they're gone so you can get size 3 to 6 and size 12 and 13 um, but apart from that no more stock so when it came to my replacement time I chose black because I couldn't have anything else it was a bit of a shame as I say um, but the black boots have worked just as well as the tan and in saying that I mean very well um, the leather, which is what they call hard life, is supple, still great, um, looks good and the one key difference, and this was really in response to what some people said, is I used to wear my boots into the ground and I didn't really care for them at all. Um, and some people said, well, would they have a better life if you used some of the, uh, the uh, Wonder Balm, um, which does come with your first pair for free. Um, but I hadn't used at all and I've been using this monthly and to be honest it's hugely improved the look of the leather you know from from the top there after six months of daily wear I reckon these are looking really good you know I wear these every day for work because they're black you can just about get away with it in the office and I walk to work which is at least a mile each way um, so as you can see the soles show a bit of wear but still pretty holding up well so you know I think they've really functioned very nicely and all the better for a bit of care so my previous opinions changed on that um, you do need to look after your boots I think black is a bit more forgiving because brown does show up the scuffs and the patina a little bit but black a little bit easier to care for so as I say uppers great hard life supple waterproof very nice the soles are doing okay there's no an even wear pattern on the heel there really. There's still some grip. I reckon after 12 months these will be pretty much done and they might not be looking quite so nice but my one frustration with the Doc Martens boots in the hard life range is the quality of the soles or rather the depth of the tread. If they could just put a little bit more tread on them you'd get another six months, another 12 months out of them easy. The comfort as with all Doc Martin boots, um, breaking can be a bit of a thing, but not so much with these. The, the leather's not much more supple, um, and it's got that really nice bounce 
in the soul, the air, the air soul, the air wear soil, soul. Um, that bounce disappears after a few months, but they're still a very comfy boot. They've got a really robust footbed. Um, you probably can't pick it up in there, but you know it's got a great footbed. Um, yeah, really simple construction, but really holding up well. The only thing that I've really got to complain about, well, there's two things I've got to complain about. One thing, laces. They do give you another pair, um, but I've never known laces to fail on boots, but they invariably fail on these. In this instance, my first pair lost the little metal ends off the ends, or the metal ends, rather. Um, and that's a real pain because pen, they start to fray and then you you know you, you always need to lace up the top three and once you lose that very annoying trying to get the the lace back through so just a normal plastic end something ideally sort of heat bonded onto there would be much much better so that's a little gripe laces always a little bit substandard with other boots with other dot martins i found the laces snapped but yeah actually this case not quite as bad but still very annoying um, the other thing which I've noticed, and I did do a video on this at the beginning of the year when it was really, really wet, is that there is what, I, what I've concluded is that the holes where the, where the stitching goes through the welt here are slightly larger than they need to be. So in really wet weather when you're sort of kicking through puddles, um, you do tend to get a tiny little bit of water ingress into the boot, which is unnecessary. I think it's down to a slight change in spec on how they're sewn together. Um, but what I found is if you really load them up with some of the Wonder Balm, um, you can stop that. And what I did, and you can check back on my videos, basically smeared it all round and blasted the hairdryer so it sort of melted into the thread, into the into the boot itself. And it seems to have done the trick. So yeah, overall, all good. Um, one thing that I'd noticed in the past is this plastic trim around the top here on my previous sort of tan boots did tend to crack and you know no functional difference but it did look tatty um, no cracking no fatigue on that so whether it's a different material or or not I'm not sure but another good thing there the heel caps sometimes tend to lose their shape a bit but at a six month mark there they're holding the back of the heel nicely toes nice and firm still you know I think the only thing I could do to really enhance the the wear on these or the longevity rather is maybe to use shoe trees. I use shoe trees on on formal shoes, so maybe I should use them on these. But yeah, all in all, um, very impressed still. Still a good deal. Bit disappointed that they they changed the range, but that that's obviously a business decision. And yeah, still continue to recommend these. Really happy to have them in black actually because I can wear them for work. So maybe black's a better deal for me. Um, yeah. Still a great boot. So, that's about it really on these. Um, I'll probably do a one year review when they're pretty much coming around for replacement. Um, but, but that's about it. If you want to find out more, um, I've gone over these boots many times before. Lots more detail in other videos. or pick a couple of videos at sort of uh, random and see, see what you think about them. If you're into boots, if you're into everyday carries, sort of pen knives, multi-tools, that sort of stuff, fountain pens, ink, shaving, denim, that sort of thing, um, have a look at my channel. Um, those are my interests, so I'd like to share them on my YouTube. I'd love it if you subscribed. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment below. And also, if you want to check out my new Tumblr account, um, there's some stuff which I won't necessarily review on YouTube, I'll just put a few words into Tumblr and uh, also some nicer photos and some extra photos of the products I do review. Um, yeah, check out, check out my Tumblr, um, I'll put the link below and uh, yeah, thank you for watching, hope that's useful and uh, yeah, do try these out, I think they're a good deal. Okay, thank you very much, bye bye.